Hi, in this video what I want to tell, talk about is balancing this motor and more, more particularly balancing this fan that sits on the top of the motor. So these um, cheap 800 watt, 300 watt, 500 watt motors that you can get from AliExpress, Banggood etc etc um, they're actually quite good uh, spindles with the exception of this cheap plastic uh, fan that's on the top which is really out of balance um, if you take this off and run the motor on its own for, for, for a short period of time um, it's actually quite smooth, quite uh, quite nice, put the fan back on and you get a lot of vibration, a lot of noise so today we're going to show you how to balance this fan uh, and actually make this uh, spindle run a, a whole lot nicer we're going to need a few tools to do that with um, so I've got them all here already first of all we're going to need a um, a decent pair of circlip pliers um, this is so we can take the, the circlip off to extract the fan from the top um, the next thing we're going to need is a spirit level and a couple of wooden blocks that are uh, exactly the same height so this is just was one block I've just cut it in half um, so that they're exactly the same height uh, we're also going to need an 8mm diameter um, shaft in here and that's because that's the diameter of shaft there now um, this particular one came from the old head that's here so you can use that um, instead of um, trying to buy something you already have one in the in the old head there uh, I'm going to need a chisel uh, in this case a very sharp chisel uh, so we can take some plastic off from the from the inside of the pot um, and I'm also utilising these two 10mm um, shafts which were the old shafts as well that ran across the back of the fan you don't have to use these um, you could use something like um, a, a bigger diameter bar these are hollow tubes um, this is actually a curtain um, sorry a, um, a wardrobe rail but if you've got a couple of those which I happen to have a couple you could just use these you don't need the wood for these uh, anyway but you can I'll show you that uh, as we go as we go along okay so we've got those um, I've also 3d printed uh, a fan that, uh, that we're actually going to do the um, balancing on today because I've already balanced this one so I can't show you how to do this one as it's already uh, it's already balanced um, in there so I've 3d printed um, uh, this one uh, and we'll actually be balancing this one but I'll show you how to take this off and we'll actually have a look at this on the on here um, before balancing and after balancing so you can see the effect that we that we've had on here um, on there um, as I said spirit level so it's really important that when we're doing the balancing that we get um, our uh, two pieces of wood here um, absolutely bang on level um, and horizontal uh, otherwise we, otherwise we, the fans just going to roll away and we're going to lose it um, so it's absolutely imperative that we get this absolutely perfectly level um, on there so yeah so let's get this fan off um, we'll try this one on here and uh, I can show you how to remove it it's very simple uh, we'll try this one on and we'll see how bad um, it is to start with uh, and then we'll balance it, show you how to balance it and we'll uh, put it back on and see how good it is afterwards or how bad it is afterwards OK so we've moved in a bit closer now so you can see what we're about to do so simple to take the, the, the fan off the top we're just simply going to use our circlip pliers um, and pop them into the little holes on here there we go and we just split that apart and we can take that little the little circlip off there once that's off this will come off it's quite tight fitting but it can come off quite easily like so there's another little clip behind below um, which again we'll, uh, we'll leave that one off um, we're going to put this one on. I'll leave the circlip off because we're only just doing a quick test. So push that on all the way home. Okay, and we'll just do a quick. And you can see how much vibration. You can see everything moving. I'm not even at 
10,000 RPM. Forget this at the moment because the, uh, this isn't... Uh, forget the readout a second because I've taken this fan off. Um, this one doesn't quite do the readout properly. It's actually reading each individual blade as it goes around. But you can hear there it was, it was really, really bad. So we're going to pop that off. Uh, we're going to now balance it and uh, I'll show you how to do that. Stage one, we're just going to get these blocks set up and we're going to make sure that they're absolutely um, level on here with the spirit level. So we want the spirit level absolutely perfect on here. I've a little bit cheated, I've already set these up so they're not too bad already. Um, I've got a clamp here which is just holding one corner down and I've actually put a, a slight packer under this corner just to get it so that we've got a, a, a very good level um, set up there. In fact, we could just do with a, a tweak more on off this side. There we go double check that one's okay okay we're both pretty good there okay happy with that so the next stage now is we take our fan that we want to balance um, and we're gonna put the push the, the spindle into the middle there we go so we've now got that in there brilliant the only final thing we want to do now if we, we we could just put that on here and let that work and you can see it does um, sort of turn a little bit but there's a bit too much friction going on here and it won't really reliably turn as we get closer to uh, to balance so to, to just to get away with that I'm just going to use these two um, bars which were the old rails from the back so I'm just going to place those on top of the block and because we got it nice and level they should stay um, exactly where we want them to and then we're going to just he says and we're going to put that on and we're just going to let it turn and find its own stop position so what we're actually doing here now is we're actually trying to find out where we're where the um, center of gravity is off in this fan um, and the center of gravity will always pull the fan or the heaviest part of the fan to the bottom we can either do two things now we can either add mass to the top side of this to balance the uh, mass that's pulling it to the bottom or easier for us we can actually just remove a little bit of material from the bottom so this is coming nicely to a stop now so I'm going to note which spoke at the bottom which is this one is the one that's got the problem and then being very careful and please be careful if you're doing this with any sharp uh, implements you can do it with a uh, an exacto knife or a stanley knife or that kind of thing i'm just going to use this small chisel because i find it a little bit easier to get in and i'm just going to take a very small um, slither of plastic off like so and make sure that comes out so i've just taken a very very small slither of plastic off there nice and then we're going to repeat that process so i'm just going to put it on and I'm going to let it turn until it finds that bottom section again and then each time taking just a very very small amount off and I'm just going to keep repeating this process um, and we can slow this down a little bit just so we can find that bottom spoke again okay so that's this spoke which is actually the one that was next to the one that we've just removed some material off and I'm just going to repeat that same process I'm just going to take a small slither of plastic off and we'll repeat And then just to be sure, I'm going to turn that bar as well, just to make sure the bar's not having any influence in there. Actually, I haven't taken that off. <laughs> it's still there, which isn't good. There we go. So we'll slow that down. Okay, so it's this one this time, and again we'll just take another slither of 
plastic off. We'll make sure that slithers come out this time. Go again. Okay, so you know you're complete when um doesn't matter which way you put this on here, um, it doesn't turn by itself, it just stops. So it doesn't matter how you um, put this on here, um, just by itself it will stay still. It's difficult not to, to knock it one way or the other. So that's done. Um, I'm just going to take this out. As you can see on here, I've had to take... Um, quite a bit more material out from uh, from this area here than, than I would have liked to um, but this is a 3D print so um, it's possible that the, the, the balance is quite bad on this one if you look at my actual um, one you can see where I've just removed off a few spokes there um, nowhere near as much as uh, as I had to remove from this one to get that balance done so I guess the next thing we should do now is get this put back onto our spindle and we'll give it a try and see uh, see how much better it is I'll just leave the circle clip off for now because I'm going to put that um, the other fan back on afterwards uh, but yeah, so we've got it on there. Uh, now all we need to do is give it a good test. And as you can see, everything is now um, smooth, nothing's vibrating around. The noise is quite quiet, I can easily talk over it. Uh, much smoother. We haven't affected the air performance coming out of the fan. It's still very smooth, still very nice. And we're balanced. I hope you found that video useful. Um, if you do try this, then be aware that you know you are removing material from uh, from the fan, and uh, you can never put that back. So uh, please be careful. Please be careful with sharp uh, knives and chisels, etc. You know we don't want cuts um, to your hands and things and damage. So um, yeah, it's good. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, see you next time.